Today we're going to start our treasures from the collection, video highlights of uh, some of the objects here at Jane Austen's House Museum. And I'd like to begin with these three portrait miniatures which show a number of members of the Digweed family. And that was a family that Jane Austen knew very well when she was growing up in Steventon. So, here we have Francis William. And this is um, one of the older sons of the family. You can see him looking very, um, very regal in his blue coat. You can imagine him starring in a Jane Austen novel, I think. And um, next to him we have his brother, James. Um, and I don't know if you can see, on um, his head, just, just there, there's a little mark which might be an indication of a an accident which he had, which Jane Austen actually wrote about. In 1798, she wrote a letter to her sister Cassandra, um, in which she said, James Digweed has a very ugly cut. How could it happen? It happened by a young horse, which he had lately purchased, and which he was trying to get back in its stable. The animal kicked him down with his forefeet and kicked a great hole in his head. So poor James Digweed, perhaps that little mark on his brow was um, a scar to remind him of that accident. Um, and then just here we have Mary Susanna Lyford, who um, became Mrs. James Digweed. Her um, father was a physician who attended on Jane Austen. So they're all very closely bound up with Jane Austen's story and I think it's really lovely to see them. These are the type of people that she saw on a daily basis and they um, probably all, all of those people, all of those acquaintances went into the novels in some form and informed the worlds that she drew up and the characters that she created.